Hey guys, it's Katie Simone here, and I just wanted to do a very quick video on capturing debugging logs to help with reporting issues where you don't think Loop is behaving the way it should. In particular right now, for people having issues with pairing uh, Omnipods, it'd be really useful if Pete could have uh, the debugging logs. So here's how you do it. You're going to plug your phone into your computer and you're going to pull up your project that you built um, Loop with. You're going to select your phone and there's my phone. You're going to select your phone, sign your targets just like you normally would, and you're going to press play to build it onto your device. And basically what you're doing is you're refreshing your app. You can pull up um, your old folder, in this case uh, your Omnipod testing download, and you just rebuild it. So we're rebuilding it. It's going to build onto the phone. And the key part that you're looking for is this box down at the bottom here. Once it starts building, this part is going to be a debugging log. If you don't see that part, you can try clicking on this little box that's up in the upper right corner of Xcode. Um, in case yours isn't showing, click on that box and it should show. The other thing that you can do is slide this over. Sometimes that gets hidden. You can pull it over. Um, but basically, this debugging log down here will start showing what's going on with the app in Xcode. So once it finishes building, you should be able to see the debugging log for while it's running. And it'll just start populating, just like that. And so what we need from you is if you notice something isn't working, go ahead and capture all of this content here and paste it somewhere else. So basically, if you're going through the steps, you can go ahead and do these things where you enter them all in and you can see that as I'm typing on my app, things are happening in that debugger log and basically that debugger log is capturing everything that's going on in the app. So if you get a pairing that isn't going well with a pod, run this debugging log, try pairing a few times. If it fails a few times, just keep capturing it and then go down to this log press uh, Command A, and it's going to copy all of that content. So you just want to copy all of it, Command A, and then Command C while it's all lit up in blue. That will copy it all. And then what I do is I go to, I have no idea why that just happened. Oh, it's Facebook. Um, you're going to go to your GitHub account, um, and you can paste it in there. And I probably am not logged in, but um, you can log in and you create what's called a gist, sorry, okay, D. Simone, let me sign in. Now I gotta verify, one second. Okay, and so you can go up to your account, you can say your GIS, and you're going to create a new one. You can say pairing failure, and you just command V to paste all of that debugging log in there. It will go there, create a public GIS, copy that URL with a command C, you can copy that. And then you're going to go to github.com, loopkit, loop, go to issues, say create a new issue, the issues tab of loop. So you're just basically going to github.com slash loopkit slash loop, click on the issues, and click new issue. And you say get started on a bug report and you say pairing failure xcode logs and you can go ahead and you can fill out all of those things in there sorry i just clicked wrong on it but um 
fill it all out. But the important part is that you're going to want to attach the file. And so you can uh, go ahead and add context. You can say, there's my gist. You can just drop the URL in there. So that will give Pete the information he needs about what's going on with the pairing and what commands are exactly there. So that's your tip for capturing debugging logs if you're ever asked. So one small thing, if this doesn't immediately pop up, you can go ahead and push rebuild again. Sometimes that happens, um, that this stays blank even after a fresh build. It's really easy to fix. Just go ahead and press build again and it will refresh this bugging log and it'll pop up. Just uh, one weird glitch. So anyway, that's the 411 on how to get debugging logs to Pete to help him out. Um, hope that helps. Thanks.